All right, you wouldn't believe this one. <clears throat> I was here last week before a uh, thunderstorm. Threw the gauges on, and the head pressure was like 450 PSI. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Now, now head pressure is low. Coil was so dirty. All these bushes just had the coil completely clogged. Some guy put on it. It's a train condenser pan. It was so clogged, we were getting back pressure on the side of the coils. And, um, you know, I just put screws in. I don't know. That's what the homeowner told me. So, fits decent, but it's a little too low. Where it basically had paper right here and it was just getting sucked down so it's running a lot better it's not raining out today so we're gonna add a little bit of refrigerant and see what happens to it right now we've got 44 superheat 1.9 degrees subcool so coil's getting too cold 33 degree coil so see what happens keep you in the loop all right, we got everything in the green. I still can't believe it was running that high a head pressure. Got the green flag. Four pounds. Threw the air probes in. 20 degree split. Look at that super heat, sub cool. It's a TXV. It's smoking out today, man. It's it was just 95 with the sun. We just got some shade. Whoo! That was it. I just can't believe it was running like such a high head pressure. The coil was really dirty. So I did find a dryer vent over there. And, uh, like I said, a coat clean a coil last week, look at all the stuff. It was just caked. It was getting the fan where it was just not even blowing air. The paper was sitting in the middle. Way better. Woo! Man, these guys don't do maintenances around here. Treasure Coast. Alright guys. Check your charge. Catch you on the next one. Alright. Shredder was just spitting out refrigerant. So I swapped that bad boy out. Now I got a leak. Leak detector is on this one. So we got one on the, uh, on the liquid line. That one's not leaking. But this one's soaked with oil. So we're going to get a new one in there. Super easy. These Appions are real easy to do. Just back it out so you hear the click. it close the valve off hopefully we got it and we got it now with the old and with the new It. Would it take like a minute? Back it out. I back the pressure off nice and slow. 
And then if you want, you can go back in with the core removal tool, cinch it down. And there we go. New cap. And that's it. New cap, new pin. Jim Bergman would be proud. That must have been where that four pounds of refrigerant went. So, new pin in there. I had these just code plastic crazy junk caps on there. And they had them on sideways and off when I got here. And that's it. Catch you guys on the next one.